Hey, so this is Ruby Red Caruso, and today I'm going to be bringing to you Vendor Events Part 2. As you recall, last video I told you what you need to do before the Vendor Event. Today I'll be bringing you what to do and what to bring during the Vendor Event. First thing, when you go to the Vendor Event, bring as little as possible, but make it simple at the same time. I focus, I tend to focus on my products on pretty much what are on special or the top selling products. Here's an example of what I bring. I bring my large utility totes and I pack it in with probably no more than like 10, 15 products the most. And again, in those, in that tote, I put in the top selling products as well as the special for that month or a special coming up so that I could book those parties or even get a recruit. The other thing that I usually bring to a vendor event is I bring my mobile office on the go. So again, this is why I made the mobile office. Not only could I have it ready and on the go when I'm out and about, but when I have my vendor events, I'm good to go to give out those packets via hostess packets or recruit packets when they fill out that doorstep. Another thing that I would advise to bring when you're doing a vendor event is bring small products that you know that are cheap and use those as your bookings. So as soon as someone has booked a party, then I give them a little prize for booking. And that always is an encouragement as well. As well as just that little incentive, hey, thank you for booking a party. Here's a little prize for you as well. Um, so again, but you give that to after they book the party as well. Um, examples of what luxury you could take is, of course, some catalogs. And again, this works for any direct sales business. I believe in keeping it simple, simple and sweet. Um, just enough to where it grabs their attention and up to where they know that they're interested and gets you those leads that you need. Now, during the vendor events, um, I've heard of other ladies say, what do I do? What if it's quiet via? Main thing you want to do is be yourself, be confident, and also stand up. When it is busy, stand up, and that's where people will come to you and be yourself, say hi, hello, tell them about you, buy your product, and just essentially go from there. When it is downtime, usually I sit down and then I'll fill out my customer information or whatever. That's only if it's downtime. Essentially, your key, your goal is to get those leads, to get those bookings, to get those recruits. So stand up, show your confidence, and the rest will follow when you do that as well. So again, ladies, I hope all these tips help you out. Bring your products um, that, are, that are highlighted, your top sign products, as well as any specials you may have. During the veteran event, stand up, be confident, be yourself. And last but not least, enjoy the event too. Um, get to know other vendors around there and network as well. And I will mention that on Vendor Events Part 3, and I will see you Monday. See you later, ladies. And subscribe if you want to get any more tips as well to my channel. I will see you then.